Yes, Gawa. <laughs> This video shows how to connect a PC to an MPIEC controller, even if you don't know the IP address. Here's a quick preview. The controller IP address can be temporarily overridden to 192.168.1.1 at any time by rebooting with the E init switch on. Test the connection to your PC with Internet Explorer by entering this address. Then use the controller's built-in web page to configure the IP address that will be used when eInit is off. Now let's look at this in more detail. Connection of the PC to the MPIEC controller over Ethernet requires both physical Ethernet connections and compatible IP addresses in the PC and controller. Let's assume you know the IP address of your PC is 192.168.1.50 but you do not know the IP address of the controller. If you have the MotionWorks IEC project for the controller, the IP address can be seen in the project tree under Physical Hardware, right-click Resource, and choose Settings. The Hardware Configuration TCP IP settings also shows the IP address expected for this project. However, if you don't have MotionWorks IEC, don't have the project, or just aren't sure if you have the correct project, then you can reboot the controller with eInit on, connect using the override address, find the configured address in the web server, reboot again with eInit off, and connect to the configured address. Rebooting with the eInit switch on temporarily overrides the configured IP address to 192.168.1.1. Do pay attention to the printed location of on for the switch, as this can vary between controller products. I'll cycle power to the controller. The controller is now rebooting, and after about 30 seconds, you see the ready light is on. The alarm light may be on, which is OK. If possible, simplify the Ethernet connection at this point by disconnecting the controller from any network and connect directly to the PC using a crossover cable. Then in Internet Explorer, type the controller's IP address override 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. Success! We're now looking at the controller's built-in web page. To find the controller's configured address, log into the web server with username admin with capital A and password MP2300S, all caps. Different MPIEC controllers have different default passwords. We're using the MP2300SIEC controller in this example. This opens links to all the available pages. Ethernet config shows the configured IP address 192.168.1.3. The address can be changed here if necessary. The default gateway address is used when the controller is on a network with a gateway device, which serves as an access point to another network. If your network does not have a gateway device, set the address the same as the IP address to avoid the gateway not found warning 3407-0204. Now that the IP address is known, don't keep using the IP address override. Turn off the eInit switch, and for convenience, you can reboot the controller right here through the web server. If applicable, reconnect the controller to the network and adjust the PC's IP address to be compatible with that of the controller. When the ready light turns on after reboot, Enter the configured IP address in Internet Explorer, 192.168.1.3 in this case. The controller IP address has been found and connection confirmed. If for some reason you cannot connect to the controller, a ping test is a basic troubleshooting operation. To do the ping test, under the Start button, type CMD, then type ping followed by the IP address of the controller, in this example 192.168.1.3. You want the result to be 0% loss. If the request shows timed out or shows loss, 
then this confirms that you have a connection problem. Another command to remember is ipconfig. ipconfig tells you the IP address information about your PC. Common connection problems include bad cables, loose connections, incorrect IP settings, or more advanced settings such as proxy server, DNS settings, and default gateway on the PC. Often mysterious problems can be solved by a simple reboot of both the PC and the controller. However, you may need to work with your network administrator to allow communication between your PC and controller on more complex factory networks. Thanks for watching this video and remember yaskawa.com/iec for application notes, videos, firmware updates and more.